you know, 40 minutes for us, amen. No, because uh, God has a word for all of us this morning, and we don't want anybody to miss out, amen. Amen. So I'm going to call on the daddy of the house, the Apostle Abba, Let's just worship him this morning. Let's just give him praise. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the bright and morning star, the Ancient of Days. Father, we worship you. We exalt your holy name. We bless your name, O Lord. For there's not to be compared with you. There's not like you, O Lord. You that is the creator of all things, we praise you. We honor you, O Lord. We bless your name, O Lord. We say, Lord, be thou exalted, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, O Lord. We say, Lord, be thou exalted, be thou glorified, be thou, O Lord, Father, lifted high, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise you. We honor you, O Lord. We bless your name, O Lord, for there's none to be compared with you. There's none like you, O Lord. You that is the greater of all things, O Lord. You sustain everything in the places. Lord, we want to bless your name. We want to honor you this morning, O Lord. We give you all the glory. We say, Lord, be now exalted, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Yes, Lord. You are the Lord. Let your name we give you
of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You're all welcome to this wonderful service. Power in the word service. Hallelujah. And I know the Lord will bless you even as you hear his word today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful time in his presence and I tell you, you will not leave the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to acknowledge all the presence of all the pastors in the house. Pastor Marie, God bless you. Pastor Augusta, Pastor Martha, Pastor Oli, God bless you all. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord will richly bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. All the ministers in the house, I want to bless you. I want to ask the Lord to bless you, even as you do his work in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will reward you mightily in Jesus' name. To all the workers in the house, I want to say a big thank you to you. God bless you all. As you do the work, the Lord will honor you too in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And to Reverend Victor, Pastor Rachel, God bless you for the support. We appreciate it. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Lord will continue to honor you and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We have the numerous company of angels here. Yes, spirit of just men that have been made perfect. They are all with us. Don't think you are alone. Hallelujah. The angels are here to minister to you. Praise the name of the Lord. So be expectant of something good from the Lord as you as you are here today. Praise the name of the Lord in his presence. Hallelujah. Be free, be free. Set your mind free. Don't let it be occupied by anything. Set it free to receive the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go to Colossians chapter 3 and from verse 1 to 11. Colossians chapter 3 and from verse 1 to 11. Colossians chapter 3 and from verses 1 to 11. It says, if then you, uh, you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on the things on the earth. For you died uh, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore, put to death your members, which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you yourself once walked when you lived in them. But now, you yourselves are to put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man with his renew which who is renewed what in the knowledge according to the image of him who created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to be talking about something this morning. We're going to be talking about our minds. Our minds. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Everyone has a mind. Everybody has a mind. God created us what? With a mind. Praise the name of the Lord. And in verse 2, it clearly says that we was what? Set our minds on what? The things that are above. Praise the name of the Lord. So there are some things that are beneath that we can set our minds on. But the Lord has said that every child of God, hallelujah. In verse, 11, uh, verse uh, uh, 10, he says, and put on what the new man who is what renewed in the knowledge according to what the image who, of who created him. Praise the name of the Lord. 
there is actually a mind that is corrupt and there is also a renewed mind praise the name of the lord and god even giving us a mind his expectation of us is that we have what's the mind of christ Amen. the mind of christ that is what his expect expectation of us is that we have the mind of christ that is why he gave us a mind to be able to make a choice praise the name of the lord between evil and between good praise the name of the lord and if you remember when uh, uh satan wanted to tempt eve he played on her mind praise the name of the lord he played on her mind that it is a playing field the mind that god has given us is a playing field hallelujah and we must be very careful as to how we go about you know with our minds praise the name of the lord hallelujah second corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 he says therefore if anyone be in christ hallelujah he says what he's a new creation he says the old has gone the new is here the old has gone and what the old what uh, did our scripture say about the old he says verse 8 but now you yourselves are put off what all these which are of the old man he says anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy language out of your mouth he says do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man since you have put off the old man praise the name of the lord as we act as we god created us what with a mind that was what pure and incorruptible but when satan tempted eve everything was lost the mind of man became what corrupt praise the name of the lord that's why it's able to hold anger rot malice blasphemy filthy language and all those kind of things that is why because of what happened you know uh in the in the way uh, uh, satan tempted um, even adam praise the name of the lord but the bible says therefore if any man be in christ he says he becomes what a new creature he says what he be, uh, and the old things are what pass away he says everything becomes new including your mind when you receive the lord jesus christ there is a renewal of your mind that is the main purpose of god giving you a, a, a mind praise the name of the lord and that mind there that god has given you is to lead you even right up toward glory right up toward heaven praise the name of the lord Amen. hallelujah praise the name of the lord let's quickly look at some things about why he has given us a mind why has god given us a mind when you think about it why did he give us a mind Praise that his expectation is that that mind be renewed. Hallelujah. Because he knows that as man, that as you come into this earth, that mind is already corrupted. Praise the name of the Lord. And his expectation of that mind is that what it be renewed. As a mind that leads to what? To lead to them, uh, leads them to what? Perishing. Praise the name of the Lord comes with a mind that will lead you to perish that is how every man has come but god's expectation as to why he has given us a mind is that that mind be surrendered to christ and in the expectation that mind be renewed Amen. praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. romans chapter 12 and verse let's start from uh, verse 1 romans chapter 12 and verse 1 says that that mind may be renewed i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that you present your bodies what as a different sacrifice wholly acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service he says and do not be what conformed to this world but be what ye transformed by what the renewing of your mind the mind needs to be renewed our mind needs to be renewed praise the name of the lord and it's not a renewal of one day it's a continuously what being renewed Amen. continuously being renewed be transformed by what the renewing of your mind transform mean what that you are taking from one one uh, uh, aspect of life and change transforms mean what changed changed praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. so the old man comes with what a corrupt mind but the new man comes with what the incorruptible mind incorruptible mind the pure mind hallelujah praise the name of the lord so that's the expectation of god when he has why he has given us a mind that's number one 
for us what is the with why he has given us the the first one is that with expectation that is being renewed Amen. it's being renewed praise the name of the lord and i thank the lord that each and every one here i believe has a renewed mind praise the name of the lord hallelujah it says that you may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of god praise the name of the lord hallelujah yes. number two thing why god has given us a mind i don't want to take much time today praise the name of the lord he says so we can have what the mind of christ not only being renewed just because something can just be new but it needs to be what uh, it needs to be to to look like something praise the name of the lord and so that we can have what the mind of christ so that we can have what the mind of christ we have come with that corruptible mind but god has given us what that mind so that we can have what the mind of christ so that he can implant in us a mind that will be similar to that of christ a mind that will be of the image of christ praise the name of the lord Amen. hallelujah Amen. praise the name of the lord philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 Paul discovered it and he says something here. Paul, Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. Quickly, praise. It says, let this mind be in you, which is also what? In Christ. Let this mind be in you, which is also of Christ. They wants, God wants our mind to be like that of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. And he gave an example here. Who being in the form of God, taught it not to be what? robbery taught it not robbery to be what equal with god praise the name of the lord hallelujah he says but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in the fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient toward death even to the death on the cross Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is the mind that God wants us to have. That's one of the aspects of the reason why he wants us to have the mind of Christ. That we may what live what a soberly humble life. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That we don't count ourselves above others. Because that's what the corrupt mind does. Praise the name of the Lord. Corrupt mind is full of pride. Full of arrogance. Praise the name of the Lord. But that mind of Christ is, is of humility. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That we may what, walk in that, uh, in, in, I mean, through this journey, humbly. That is why God has given us what? A mind. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. A mind that will be that of Christ. A mind of what? Compassion. A mind of love. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. It says, wherefore God had what highly exalted him. You see, when we walk in this, in the, with, with the mind of Christ, that is when we are exalted. But when we walk with what the mind that is corrupt, when we walk in that pride, God what? He pushes down on the pride. Praise the bear, I mean the proud. Praise the name of the Lord. But with the mind of Christ, you have that opportunity of being lifted up by God. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, who wherefore also has highly exalted him and given him a name that is what above every name. That name of Jesus, but that at the name of Jesus, every knee should what bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus what is Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Romans chapter 8 and verse 7. Romans chapter 8 and verse 7. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's what we're talking about. That we're talking about the mind of Christ. But he says here, Romans chapter 8 and verse 8. He says, because the carnal mind, what? Is enmity, what? Against God. The carnal mind, what? Is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God. Nor indeed can be. Praise the name of the Lord. That's the reason why God has given us a mind. 
that did not remain carnal. Because when it remains carnal, that means we can't what to receive God. We can't receive his word. Praise the name of the Lord. But he wants us to have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ that will enable us to walk in what humility. That will enable us to walk in the ways that will please him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God has given us a mind. Let me put let me read it in the way I put it. I say, with the mind of Christ that God has given us comes a change in our attitude, in the attitude of our mind. Storms, trials, health issues, worry, anxiety. And even when you you know when things are rough for you, praise the name of the Lord. You won't care about all those things with the mind of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Because you won't you in the, with the mind of Christ, you won't have the, the need to worry. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Even when storms come, when trials come, you don't have the need to worry. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. So let's quickly look at Ephesians chapter 4 and from verse 22. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. We're still talking about the mind of Christ. It comes, it brings about the uh, 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 I mean it brings about a change in the attitude of our mind when we have the mind of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. And just the example I wanted to give is the time when there was a storm. In, when there was a storm, Jesus was what? He was sleeping. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's what he expects of us, to just rest in him. And he expected his disciples to just rest with him. Praise the name of the Lord. But they were full of fear, full of worry, full of anxiety. Praise the name of the Lord. But with the mind of Christ comes the word change in the attitude of our mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us quickly look at Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22. That you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows what corrupt according to what deceitful lust. That is what the old man does. It grows corrupt. Hallelujah. Verse 23. Quickly. Let's quickly go. And be renewed what in the spirit of your mind. Hallelujah. And that you put on the, uh, put on the new man which was created according According to what to God in true what righteousness and holiness. Praise the name of the Lord. Therefore, put in the way line, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor. For we are members of what one another. Verse 26. Hallelujah. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Nor give place to the devil. Uh, uh, to the devil, let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor walking with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give, to give him who has what need. Verse 29, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary education, that it may impart grace towards the hearers all this is what this the, the the renewed mind bring the mind of christ that's what it changes us to do praise the name of the lord verse 30 verse 30 quickly and do not grieve the holy spirit or uh or spirit of god by whom we are sealed for the day of what redemption let all bitterness wrath, anger clamor speaking uh, evil speaking be put away from you with all what malice verse 32 and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as Christ was, just as God in Christ forgave you. Praise the name of the Lord. It brings about that change what in the attitude of what our minds. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is in verse 23. If you want to read uh, another version, is in verse 23. It says, to be made new in the attitude of what? our minds to be renewed in the spirit of your mind in the attitude of your mind in some other version says to be renewed in the spirit of our mind that is why god has given us this mind of christ praise the name of the lord Amen. another thing why god has given us a mind is what because of fellowship for us to be able to dwell in unity praise the name of the lord yeah. that is why god has given us a mind when we are of the same mind then we can dwell in unity. Praise the name of the Lord. That is why we look at that word like-minded. Have you heard it before? You know, everybody else is like-minded. When we are like-minded, we can dwell in unity. We can fellowship together. 
praise the name of the Lord. And that is the desire of God for what his body, for the body of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. That we will fellowship together. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. And he has given us a mind that we may be able to what? Be in unity. That I may be believe the same thing you believe, think the same way you uh, think, say the same things you say. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. So that we can dwell what? In unity. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 2. Let's quickly look at that. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 2. It says, make my joy complete. That's what Paul was saying to the people of Philippi. He says, make my joy complete. Of being what? The same mind. He says, fulfill my joy. Being what? Like-minded. Having the same love. I haven't finished. Having the same love. Being of one accord. Of what? One mind praise the name of the lord that's, that's that was the prayer of what paul for the people of philippi he says fulfill my joy by being like-minded having the same love being of one accord of one mind we can only be of one mind when we want when we dwell in unity it brings us you know uh, it just makes us uh, a fellowship within one mind praise the name of the lord hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. Let's quickly read on to verse 5. Let's go on verse 3. Let's go to verse 3. No, let's read. It says, Let nothing be done through what selfish ambition, conceit, but in loneliness of mind, let each other what esteem himself better than what uh, others better than himself. That's what I was talking about. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 4. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. Verse 5. Let us quickly look. Let this mind be in you, which was also what? In Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it brings us together. That is why God has given us a mind. So that we can be together. When we are when we believe the same thing, when we when we do the same thing, we can what all dwell together. We can fellowship together. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 11. So he has given us a mind that we may dwell in unity. Let's look at that one again. Finally, brethren, farewell. Become complete. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. It was Paul's prayer that uh, the body of Christ be what? In fellowship. Praise the name of the Lord. Be in unity. Praise the name of the Lord. And that can only be achieved when everybody has, you know, one mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I pray that God will give us that ability to have one mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That grace of one-mindedness, of like-mindedness will be released unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Another thing why God has given us a mind is to be able to retain the word of God. To retain the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To retain the word of God. That is why God has given us a mind. Let us look at Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 10. Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 10. Praise the name of the Lord. Is to retain the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws where? In their mind. In their mind. <coughs> in their mind. And write them what on their hearts. And I will be their God. And they shall be my people. Praise the name of the Lord. Our minds. God has given us a mind. So that what we can retain. The word of God. He says I will put my law, my law. In their what? In their minds. Praise the name of the Lord. And he will also write them on the tablets of their hearts. Praise God. Our minds are there. For God to what? To, for, to it, for it to what? Retain the word of God. To retain the word of God. 
So you don't just have a mind for nothing. It is there to what? Retain the word of God. That's why it is good to what? Study the word of God. And in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, it, it, I mean, it gives us that very good example. It says, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Hallelujah. Let's quickly look at it. It says, this book of the law, what? Shall not depart from my mouth. But you shall what meditate upon it what day and night. Where do you meditate? In your heart, in your mind. Praise the name of the Lord. It says that you may observe to do all that is written in it. For then you will make your way what prosperous, and then you will have what good success. Praise the name of the Lord. So in retaining the word of God, it helps us to what meditate on the word of God. It helps us what to store up the word of God in our minds. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why God has given us a mind to retain his word. To retain his word. To be able to meditate upon it. Hallelujah. And then to do what is written according even in his word. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 119 and verse 9 to 11. Psalm 119 and verse 9 to 11. You will see what this psalm is. What he said. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalm 19, 1, 9 to 11. How can what a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. Verse 10. With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from what your commandments. Hallelujah. Your word I have hidden where? In my, In my heart. heart. That I may not what? Sin against you. Where did he hide his word? Not in his head. Not in his leg. Not in his hands. Praise the name of. He says in his heart. In his mind, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we that is what God has given us a mind for to be able to retain his word, his his uh, his, um, his his word. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another thing the Lord has given us a mind for is to think. Is to think. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And it depends on. How your mind is. If you have the corrupt mind, you will think corruptly. Praise the name of the Lord. But if you have the incorruptible mind, you will think in that way. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's why Paul said in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8. Let's quickly look at that. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8. Praise the name of the Lord. Paul was, uh, I mean, admonishing, I mean, just telling them about how do you think? With this mind of God that God has given you, how do you think? He says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things that are just, whatever things that are pure, whatever things that are lovely, whatever things that are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, he says what? Meditate on these things. Meditate on these things. That is why God has given you what a mind. To meditate upon this. To think about these things. That's what he's telling you about. To think about these things. Those things that are noble. Those things that are just. Those things that are pure. From this list here alone, when you begin to think out of this, you know you're thinking what something of, I mean, in a different way. Praise the name of the Lord. You begin to think in a different way. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So our mind has been given to us to be able to think. And not just think alone, but think about those things that are noble, lovely. And those things that are good. Praise the name of the Lord. That is God's expectation of Him giving you what? A mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And another thing is that as He has given us that mind, you see, when we begin to think outside the box, when we begin to think outside the box, that, that all that we have read, God has given us even the power to be able to reverse it. To reverse it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3 to 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3 to 5. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk according to the flesh. Praise the name of the Lord. That is why we, sometimes we call that the battle of the minds. We are able to battle in our minds what even the enemy wants us to think. He says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God for the pulling down what? Of strongholds, yes. 
4 verse 5 he says casting down what arguments and every high thing that what exalts itself against the knowledge of god bringing what every thought into what captivity to the obedience what of christ bringing every thought so when you see yourself what thinking outside the box you are able to what reverse it by bringing that thought what into captivity praise the name of the lord hallelujah and that's what the enemy always do, uh, does praise the name of that's what he does every time he just plays with our mind making us want to think outside the box making us want to think that there's no help that there's no mercy praise the name of the lord hallelujah but he says we can bring those word thoughts into captivity hallelujah praise the name of the lord hallelujah another thing that the lord has given us what our minds for is to hold our beliefs is to hold our beliefs hallelujah praise the name of the lord is to hold what our beliefs our beliefs hallelujah we talk about we talk about belief we are talking about our convictions the convictions that we have we hold them what in our mind praise the name of the lord hallelujah praise the name of the lord Let's quickly look at Romans chapter 14 and 5 to 9. <coughs> Hallelujah. Romans chapter, no, Romans chapter, yeah, let's look at Romans chapter 14, 5 to 9. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 14 and 5. One man esteems one day as better than the other, while another man esteems all days alike sacred. Let everyone be what? Fully convinced in his what? Own mind. Fully convinced. That is what our minds are, are there for. For us to have convictions about matters. Praise the name of the Lord. Convictions about matters. Conviction about what? Our religion. Conviction about our academics. Conviction. About, our minds are there to what? Hold those convictions. Praise the name of the Lord. Convictions about what? Our beliefs. Our minds are there to hold it. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 10 and verse 10. Romans chapter 10 and verse 10. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. For what? With the heart, what? A person believes. Adheres to trust. To trust in and relies on what? Christ. And so is justified declared righteous accepted with god and with the mouth confess he confesses what declares openly and speak out freely his faith and confirms what his salvation praise the name of the lord but where does he hold that belief in his heart in his heart praise the name of the lord so our minds have been given to us to hold our beliefs praise the name of the lord hallelujah you and i are here today listening to the word of god because we believe in god praise the name of the lord if you are convicted in that belief you won't be here today praise the name of the lord hallelujah praise the name of the lord and not only our belief in all of our opinions even with the convictions we have concerning our opinions our views our thoughts our ideas praise the name of the lord that is what our minds have been given to us for. Praise the name of the Lord. Acts chapter 2 and verse 37. Acts chapter 2 and verse 37. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is when Peter was preaching. After Peter had preached that, preached that uh, long sermon, what, what happened? The Bible says, when they heard this, they were what? Let's go to another uh, version, please. This is too elaborate. Praise the name. It says, cuts. There were some cuts to. Let's go to um, uh, New King James. Maybe New King James. Pray. Praise the name of the Lord. So we don't take it too, too long. New King James, please. <coughs> Praise the name. It says, Now when they heard this, they were what? Cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do praise the name of the lord that is where the, that's why the holy spirit works on the mind praise the name of the lord he says when they heard the word of god after peter had preached almost you know for a long time he says they were caught in their hearts praise the name of the lord 
And that's why it helps us what to hold our beliefs. But these ones, they never believed that in God before. But when they heard the word of God, they were caught in their hearts. Praise the name of the Lord. Their beliefs changed even from that moment onwards. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's look at Acts chapter 16, verse 11 to 15. Acts chapter 16 and verse 11 to 15. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Acts chapter 16, 11 to 15. Therefore, sailing from Troas, we ran a straight course to Samothrace, and the next day came unto Neapolis. Verse 12. And from there to Philippi, which is the former city of that part of Macedonia, a colony. And we were staying in that city for some days. And on the Sabbath day, we went out to the city, to the riverside, where prayers were customarily made. And we sat down and spoke to the women who, met, who we met there. Now a certain woman named what? Lydia had us. She was a seller of purple from the city of Tyra, who worshipped God. The Lord opened what? Her heart to heed the things what spoken by Paul. Opened the heart of the lady. Praise the name of the Lord. Her mind was opened by God to receive the word that was spoken. Praise the name of the Lord. So our hearts were given to us what? To hold our beliefs. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you know one thing is what? When your heart is renewed, you know what people will say that you are out of your mind. Have you heard that before? They will say you are out of your mind. But let me show you something. Let's quickly look at 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Or 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 11. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Second five, yeah. We persuade men, but we are all, uh, but we are well known to God, and I also trust uh, are well known in your consciences. Okay, verse twelve. Quickly, he says, "For we do not commend ourselves again to you, but give you opportunity to boast on our behalf, that you may have an answer." For those who boast in appearance and not in the in not in heart. For if we are besides ourselves, it is for God. Or if we are of sound mind, it is for you. Praise the name of the Lord. For the love of Christ compels us because we judge thus that if one died for all, then all died. And he died for all that those who live should uh, should live no longer for themselves but for him who died for them and rose again praise the name of the lord let's go to verse 13 again let me read out the uh, uh version that i have he says verse 13 he says for if we are out of our mind as some say it is for god praise the name of the lord so when people say you are out of your mind just don't worry because it is for god praise the name of the lord because they can't understand, the kind of mind can never understand the things of God. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why some people will tell you, you are out of your mind. Praise the name of the Lord. But you are not out of your mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then this mind that God has given to us, what do we do with it? What do we do with our minds? Number one, quickly, the Bible says we must set our minds on what? The things that are what? Above. Praise the name of the Lord. Setting our minds on what? The things that are above. Setting our minds on the things of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That we can find in Colossians chapter 2. I mean Colossians chapter 3 and verse 2. Where we started from. Praise the name of the Lord. That we set our minds on the things that are above. On the things that are above. Praise the name of the Lord. Set our minds on serving God. Set our minds on fulfilling what His purpose uh, uh, for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not our purpose, but His purpose. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Setting our mind. Romans chapter 8 and verse 6. Quickly. Romans chapter 8 and verse 6. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Romans chapter 8 and verse 6. For to be carnally minded, what? Is dead. But to be spiritual minded, what? Is life. And peace. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why it says, set your mind, what? On the things above. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what he wants you to do. Number two thing that he wants you to do, we can find in 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 13 to 16. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13 to 16. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It says something there that we must gird up the loins of what? Your mind. It says, and be sober. Gird up what? The loins of your mind and be sober. I read it in what? The Amplified Version, I believe it's Amplified or uh, Expanded Version. It says, prepare your minds what? For service. For service. That is what God has given us. That's what you need to do with the mind that God has given to you. Prepare it what? For service. Prepare it for service. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says, have self-control with that mind that you have. The mind that you have is given to you to have self-control. To be able to what? know that this is wrong, this is right. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Number three thing is with the mind that God has given us is that we must guard it. Because the enemy what is running to and fro, what seeking to, to uh, for whom to devour. Praise the name of the Lord. We must guard our hearts. Guard our hearts. Praise the name of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Guard your hearts, guard your minds. Keep your heart with all diligence. For out of it was the for out of it the issues what spring what the issues of life. Guard your hearts. Guard your hearts. Guard your mind. Don't allow the enemy to take over your heart because that is his target. Once he takes over your mind, that is it. Praise the name of the Lord. But that shall not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's quickly look at Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 24. Proverbs chapter 7 and 24. We are talk still talking about guarding our hearts. Guarding our hearts. Verse 24. Now therefore, listen to me, my children. Pay attention to the words of my mouth. Go on. Do not let your heart turn aside to the way, to her ways. Not, do not go, do not stray into what? Her paths. Her paths. He says, so definitely what the, the Bible is saying here is that the ordinary heart, he says, do not let your heart or your mind turn aside to its ways. Its ways, its way, the, the heart has the old ways. The ordinary heart that we have has its own old ways. Praise the name of the Lord. The ordinary mind that we have is of the old ways. But he says, do not allow your heart to turn aside to its own ways. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, do not stray into her paths because her paths will lead to death. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 26. Let's quickly look at 26 because it's important. For she has cast down what many wounded and all who are what slain by her were what strong men. Strong men have been cast down because they followed what the parts of their hearts, the old man. They followed the hearts of what the parts of the old man and they were cast down. It says, For she cast down many wounded and all were slain were strong men. Her house is the way to hell. That's verse 27. Quickly, if you put up, it says, her house is the way towards hell, descending to the chambers of what? To, of yes. death. That is why God gave us what? A, a, a mind that his expectation is that mind be renewed. Because if it's not renewed, his way is what? His path is to hell. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And verse, uh, let's look at Philippians chapter 4. Still talking about guarding our minds. Guarding our minds. Philippians chapter 4, 6 to 7. Philippians chapter 4, 6 to 7. It says, be anxious for what? Nothing. 
our hearts. Guard your hearts. Don't be anxious for anything. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't be anxious for it. Guard your hearts. Don't allow fear to overtake you. Don't allow anxiety to overtake you. He says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, we thank you. Let your request be what? Made known to God. Let your request be made known to God. Guard your hearts. Don't allow it to be occupied by fear. Don't allow it to be occupied by anxiety. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And in guarding our hearts also, Luke chapter 6 and verse 45. Luke chapter 6 and verse 45. Praise the name of the Lord. Luke chapter 6 and verse 45. It says, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth what good guard your heart let it be things that are of good that are in your heart yes. praise the name of the lord yes. because when the good things are in your heart it is the good that will come out oh, no. praise the name of the lord he yes. says and an evil man out of what the evil treasure of his heart brings forth what yes. evil mm -hmm. guard your heart don't let it be overtaken by evil praise the name of the lord Number four thing quickly that God expects us to do with our minds is to prepare for what warfare. Prepare your hearts for what warfare. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the enemy is out there. He's running to and fro, seeking to, for whom to devour. But we must prepare our hearts for warfare. Praise the name of the Lord. One that we have already talked about was bringing every thought what into captivity. Yeah. That's a warfare. Bringing every thought into what captivity. Mm -hmm. It's a, a battle of the mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Bible says, For we wrestle not against what principalities, against powers, against what rulers of darkness. Praise the name of the Lord. It says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what principalities, against powers and rulers of darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in what heavenly places praise the name of the lord these are people that we can't see we can't see them praise the name of the lord it's a battle what of the mind so we must prepare ourselves for what prepare our minds for warfare praise the name of the lord and we know that first uh, second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 it says for God has not well given us the spirit of fear but of love power and sound mind hallelujah Amen. so we must prepare ourselves what for battle praise the name of the Lord hallelujah and as we are preparing for our, for our, our ourselves for battle, for warfare uh, first Peter chapter 5 verse 8 first Peter chapter 5 verse 8 he says what be sober minded he says be watchful be sober and be the other version says be sober minded and be vigilant because it's a war that we are in mm. praise the name he says for the adversary what the devil walks like what uh, uh, about like a what rolling lion seeking for whom he may what devour. praise the name of the lord yeah. hallelujah mm. another thing that he wants us to use our our minds to do is to love him to love him praise the name of the lord matthew chapter 22 verse 37 matthew 22 37 we use our minds to love him and he said to him you shall love jesus said to him you shall love the lord what your god with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your what mind praise the name of the lord we know he wants us to use our minds to what to love him praise the name of the lord hallelujah Isaiah 26 verse 3 and 4. Isaiah 26 3 and 4. This is when what happens when you release your heart to God. When you release your mind to God. When you dedicate your mind to God. This is what happens. Praise the name of the Lord. He says you will keep what in perfect peace. What? Whose mind is what? Stayed on you. Because he trusts in you. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's what we are going to be dealing with next time I come. We are going to be dealing with this particular scripture. Whose mind is what? Stayed on him. How do we stay our mind on God? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it says he will keep us what? In perfect peace. Perfect peace. Double peace. Shalom, shalom. He's going to keep us in. If our minds are what? Stayed on him. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. And God will give us that grace to make our, keep our minds stayed on him. Because he says, see those things that are above. Looking on to Jesus, what the author and finisher what, of our faith. God will grant us that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. We're just going to pray now. Quickly, we're going to pray. Let us pray, uh, open this scripture. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 3 to 6. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 3 to 6. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 3 to 6. But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who what, are perishing. Why? Let us go verse 4 quickly. Whose minds the God of this age has what? Blinded. We are going to pray <laughs> that that veil be removed because we can see it operative in this land. Who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is in, who is the image of God, should shine on them. That gospel is there to shine on them. That gospel is there for them to just receive. But the God of what this age has what blinded them. Praise the name of the Lord. He has, and whose mind, he says, the minds have been what, he says, whose minds the God of this age has what blinded. We're going to ask the Lord to open the eyes, I mean, I mean, to take away that blindness of the mind. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to pray that the Lord will take away the blindness of the minds of the people of this nation. Praise the name of the Lord. We want them to receive the gospel. We want them to, to make heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But it says there's a God that is, there's a God of what of this age that has blinded them. Praise the name of the Lord. And as I say, our as our minds are what we should prepare for what battle. So we're going to battle, I mean, we're going to uh, 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 war against that, against that uh, thing that, they, I mean, that, that um, uh, blindness that the enemy has caused. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 5, let's quickly go. Verse 5. It says, for we do not preach ourselves, but Christ Jesus, the Lord, and ourselves, uh, and ourselves your bond servants, for Jesus is sick. Verse 6, for it is the God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the, of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. As we pray for that blindness to be lifted, we are going to ask for the light of God to shine into what their hearts, shine into their minds. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord and bring about conviction. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's rise up and pray this morning. Let this afternoon praise the name of the Lord. Let's ask the Lord that that God that has blinded the minds, that has blinded the minds of the people of this nation, that that God, the works of that God be crushed in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the enemy to distort and to prevent the word of God spreading in this land, we come against today in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are asking, oh Lord, that Lord, whatever Lord, the God of this age, oh Lord, has done to the people of this land, oh Lord, Father, we reverse it today in the name of of Jesus. We open the eyes of their mind, O Lord. We open the eyes of their heart, O Lord, to receive your word, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Whatever, Lord, has been raised as a wall, whatever has been raised as an obstacle, we pray that, Lord, God Almighty, let it be pulled down in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Let your word flow freely into the hearts of the people. Let, your, let the hearts of the people, Lord, let the minds of the people begin to, Lord, desire your word. Receive your word, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Every resistance to your word, O Lord, by the mind, O Lord, of the people of this land, we come against in the name of Jesus. We declare, declare, O Lord, that their minds, O Lord, will begin to desire you, O Lord. Their minds, O Lord, will begin 
begin to long for you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. We come against the plan of the enemy. Lord, to lead, O oh Lord, the people of this nation. Lord, to hell, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Makina Vashanta Kuria, Rekadusa Pratia Keteya, Epraduso Kuria Naba. We are rest, O Lord, the minds of the people of this nation. We are resting, O Lord, Lord, from the hands of the enemy, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We take hold of your hearts. We take hold of your minds, O Lord. Masika Tayalaba. Whatever the enemy has done, O Lord, to put a veil on your minds, O Lord, we remove that veil tonight. In the name of Jesus. We uproot that veil, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that the minds of the people, O Lord, be no longer blinded, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Masika Tayalaba. Rekatusa Pratia Keteya. We pray, pray, O Lord, for a free flow, a free flow of your gospel, O Lord, in this land, O Lord. As it flows, let it be received. As it flows, let it be received. In the name of Jesus, let it be received, O Lord, with joy, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mighty Katayalaba, we put the come against, O Lord, every resistance, O Lord, to your gospel, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you praise. Hallelujah. And we're just going to pray that the Lord shine his light into the hearts of the people of this nation. As he shines his light, darkness cannot comprehend it, it says. Every form of darkness will disappear in the name of Jesus. And the hearts of the people will receive his word with gladness and with joy. Lord, we are asking that you shine your light, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Shine your light, O Lord, upon the people of this nation, in the name of Jesus. Let your light, O Lord, penetrate, O Lord, every dark mind, every dark heart. Let your light, O Lord, penetrate it, O Lord, and bring about conviction in the name of Jesus. We come against the Lord. Every plan of the enemy, Lord, to put your word out. Lord, we come against it, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, O Lord. Marika Tayalaba. Reka du Sapradia Kedia. Marika Tayalaba. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Paul says, let this mind be in you, which is of Christ. We're going to pray that our minds will continually remain in Christ in the name of Jesus. That our minds will not be overtaken by the enemy. Our minds will not be played with by the enemy. That the Lord will help us to guard our hearts against every plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus. For our hearts is where the enemy goes. When he needs to use us, he goes to the heart. But the Lord will not allow this to happen. He will guard our hearts for us. Even as we submit our hearts unto him. As we submit our minds unto him. That the Lord will guard our hearts. In the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and talk to the Lord this, uh, this afternoon. Ask the Lord to guide your hearts. In the name of Jesus. Let that mind be in you. That mind of Christ. Lord in the name of Jesus. We pray that Lord as we walk this journey. As we journey, O oh Lord, with you, we pray that, Lord, the mind of Christ, we will journey, O oh Lord, in it, O oh Lord, with the mind of Christ, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, that you help us, O oh Lord, to guard our hearts against, O oh Lord, every plan of the enemy, in the name of Jesus. Guard our hearts, O oh Lord, against, O oh Lord, every device of the enemy, in the name of Jesus. Martina Vashanta Kudia, let's go we ask the oh Lord that Lord even as we come with you in this journey, O oh Lord, that our minds, O oh Lord, will yield only to you, O oh Lord, and not to oh to any works of Satan in the name of Jesus. Mali Vashanta Kuria. Reka du Sapratia Kedia. Maseke li Vashanta Kuria Laba. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord, I just thank you. I thank you, Lord, for even giving us a mind, O Lord. I pray that, Lord, even with our minds, we will serve you. With our minds, O Lord, Father, we will stay focused on you. 
in the name of Amen. Jesus. That the enemy will not be able to Lord direct our minds to want anything evil in the name of Jesus. That our, our minds will remain fixed on you all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow, 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 wow. What a message. Let's celebrate Jesus for our daddy. Hallelujah. 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 You know, the greatest asset that God has given to us is our mind. It's our mind. The greatest asset that God has given to us as children of God, as human beings, is our mind. Because with your mind, you can create your future. With your mind, you can create your future. The Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so he say. Thank you, Daddy. This is, a, this is a secret. Honestly, I will advise all of us to go back and listen to this message and run with it. Because you cannot imagine what you can achieve if you put your mind to work. How limited your mind is, is how limited you can be. Hmm. How limitless your mind is, is how limitless you can be. If all you see is a mountain surrounding you, that's all you will get. But if all you can see is the glory that you want, fix your heart on those things. Hmm. You see that scripture we read? Things that are lovely. Things that are true. If that is all you're thinking about, that's all you will see. Children, look at that subject and see possibilities. See success in that subject. It doesn't matter what your teacher is saying. It doesn't matter your result of last time. Look at that subject and see success. And that's what you'll get. That's what you'll get. The more you think, the more you see. The whatever you fix your heart on, you become. You become. Our mind is the greatest asset that God has given to us. I'm telling you the truth. If you can catch these secrets and work with it, your the world will be for you to conquer. The world will be for you to conquer. You cannot imagine how, how far you can go until you put your mind to work. The Lord will help us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, it doesn't matter the report that the doctors have given to you. If you start putting your mind into what you want, what you want, how you want your life to be, start thinking on those things. And before you know, you will see them happen. You know, this is a transformation that the Holy Spirit opened my heart into a few weeks ago. And it's, it's, it's just transforming my life. <coughs> it's transforming my life. So this afternoon, we're going to take the body of Christ and the blood of Jesus. And it's going to be to purify our mind. Yes. To cleanse our mind. To cleanse our mind. I was listening to a man of God this morning, and this man of God, is he, he, he was a, a medical doctor before God called him. And he was talking about what we think about. So the Spirit of God is to hear. Yeah. This is the word for the season. Please go out there and noise it around. That whatever you put your mind on, what you say, is what you will see. Yeah. This man of God was saying that, medically speaking, that the scientists have discovered that whatever you think about, affects all the organs of your body. If you wake up in the morning and say, oh my God, my head hurts. He said your organs, they, that there's an organ in the body that sends the signals to all the other organs. Say so now this morning, the, the headache, the head has to ache. So every organ that's connected to the head start aching. And you will start seeing the result of what you have said. Our mind is the greatest asset. If you don't get anything this year, this year 2022, just get this, that your mind is your greatest asset. 
there is no limit to what you can achieve if you can put it in your mind. Hebrews chapter 9 and from verse 13. Hebrews chapter 9 from verse 13. The Bible says, For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean, sacrificed to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. This blood is going to purge your mind. It doesn't matter the negative thoughts you have you been thinking about. It doesn't matter the impossibilities that you have been seeing. From today, you begin to see possibilities. Because the blood will purge your mind. Don't see that sickness. Don't see that disease. See, see health. See victory. See, see that house. See that, see that college. You know, that course you want to study. Start seeing yourself in that place. That kind of home you want to live in. Start seeing it. And that's what you will get. Father, we declare this blood blessed. The body of Christ is sanctified. Even as we partake of this communion today, Lord, let our conscience be purged. Let our mind be purified. In the name of Jesus. That we begin to think of those things that are lovely, those things that are true, those things that are good reports, because that is what we will see. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's take the blood, and as we take it, we prophesy. Say, this blood is going to cleanse my conscience. Amen. From today, I will think what I want to see. Amen. I will not think what I am hearing. I will not think what I am feeling. I will think what I want to say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let's welcome the praise singer. Minister No, oh Minister No, Minister. Let's celebrate Jesus for this great man of God. God bless you. God bless you. Let us be transformed by the renewing of our minds as we worship this great God um, who has the power to do so. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name Amen. and receive that power now as we sing how great is our God. Amen. And if we all rise. The splendor of the King is clothed in majesty. Let all the earth rejoice. Let all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light And the darkness tries to hide And trembles at his voice And trembles at his voice How great is our God
transformed by the renewing of my mind, our minds by your spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. our minds are renewed. We are new creations. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Amen. we claim this with joy, peace, happiness, love, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Prophet time, blessed time, amen, amen. Just want to look at um, Psalms 27 and verse 13. It says, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. 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 And then Psalms 145. Five to seven it says, I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works. Verse six, men shall speak and women shall speak of the might of your awesome acts, and I will declare your greatness. And verse seven it says, they shall utter the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. Amen. Amen. That he wrote in the group group chat this morning when he was put myself down to the ties up. It says, Let God amaze you with his goodness all year round. Amen. 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 Let God amaze you with his goodness all year round. Amen. God has amazed us, hasn't he? Yes. This year, like we have two and a half months left of this year. Mm. Now, two and a half months left, and we're going into 2023. And the year has been flying by. The months have been going very, very fast. But yet, God still has been good. Yes. You know, he still has been good. Mm -hmm. You know, and speaking about tithes and offering, you know, the goodness of God is in when we give you know now it's very important in giving you know if we see the goodness of god in our giving you know um one of the things i i say you know money doesn't you can't buy god's blessings you can't buy god's favor you can't buy god's love when you give your tithes but what it does do it causes god to react you know, it causes God to react, it causes God to look at you. You know, and those that are parents, you know, we see, we know this when they have children. You know, my mom, you know, she loved us all, but she had a son that was her favorite, you know, and that was her firstborn. You know, her firstborn son, like there was one day she says to me, um, says I love Thomas so much and I go it's why says because any time I call that guy doesn't matter what he's doing if I need his help he will show up doesn't matter I, he says I can call him at 11 12 2 in the morning and if I call him and tell him I need him he will he won't give an excuse he will drop everything and just come and to meet me when I need him you know like there was because she was saying there was a time when she she was in Limerick and she got she came home from Limerick and it was late at night, no buses to go back to to Corfin. And she called Tom and uh, like about uh, um, eleven o'clock at night and in the blink of an eye he was at the station to pick her up. You know? You know, and that's what the same kind of like with God. When we give, you no, know, it causes God to react. You now we've seen it in the life of David. You know, when, when, God, when, when God spoke about David, you know, we can see in the life of David what he said about David. Now, David is a man after my own heart. Even though David messed up, he saved, he fell with Bathsheba and everything. And God said, he's a man after my own heart. You know, so this morning, when you, or this afternoon, when you give, give we, we give our best. Give our best. Do our best in our giving. You know, give our best. 
you know, when we were when we were preparing for somebody's birthday, you know, if it's our dad's birthday or family member's birthday, we give our best to that person on their birthday. You know, so give your best. Give your best unto God. Amen. Amen. You know, give your best unto God. Amen. Amen. As we rise just to bless. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for this awesome time, Lord God, we had in your presence, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for your word, Lord God, that kept forth, Lord God. I pray for those, Lord God, that are given unto you this morning, Lord God, that you will bless them, Lord God, that you will meet their every need, Lord God. You provide for them, Lord God. Bless their work, Lord God. Bless their businesses, Lord God. Those that are looking for work, Lord God, open up a door, Lord God, for that job, Lord God, that they, des they desire to have, Lord God. I pray for those that have businesses, Lord God. Bless their businesses, Lord God. Those that have farms, Lord God. Bless their farm, Lord God. We pray, my God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. And those that are online, the link is there for you to give. God bless you again.
youths, you know, you need, you are you are here to do your what? They won't be around. Huh? The day before that, they won't be around. What day did we use? Okay. Oh, 28th. Oh, 28th. Oh, wow, I didn't even remember. 28th. Oh. We'll do it next month. What? Yeah, the start or the middle of November. In the middle? Or the start. Yeah, middle is okay. If we can get the middle, right? Totally for It's well. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father, we want to thank you. We want to give you praise. We honor you. We bless your name. We thank you, Lord, Father, for this time in your presence. We thank you for blessing us with your word. Thank you, Lord, for the mind that you have given us. We thank you, Lord, Father, for the opportunity, Lord, even to have the mind of Christ. We want to say thank you. Thank you, Father, for, Lord, even giving us our minds to think, our minds, oh Lord, Father, to retain your word. We want to say thank you. We pray that, Lord, our minds will not be infiltrated by the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every, every, Lord, barrier that you have set, oh Lord, to guard our hearts will remain in place in the name of Jesus. No matter how the enemy tries, Lord, he will not be able to play with our minds in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us the strength to resist every plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Give us the heart, O oh Lord, I mean the, the power, O oh Lord Father, to come against, O oh Lord, every plan of the enemy against our minds in the name of Jesus. Father, we submit our minds unto you. We say, have, our, have your way in our minds, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. By the power of our minds, O oh Lord, Father, guide us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. By the power of your spirit, O oh Lord, guide us through, Lord, even by our minds, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, even as we enter this week, we say, go ahead of us. Make the crooked way straight in the name of Jesus. Everywhere make smooth for us in the mighty name of Jesus. And even as we go into this week, Lord, let your grace and favor go with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let open doors be ours. Let open heavens be ours in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. And we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus, the precious blood of Jesus. Lord, we speak good things for us even in this week, in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be good news, O Lord, from far and near, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the praise, in Jesus' name. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. He makes us to lie down in green pastures. He lead us beside the still waters. He restores our soul. He lead us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil, for thou art with us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Thou prepares the table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thou anointest our head with oil, our cup runneth over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you. May his face shine upon you. And receive peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you all. And thank you for any, uh, all those online. God bless you all. We love you and we love you.